We uh, started a project using the Hubble Space Telescope. And what we wanted to do is measure how fast is the universe growing right now. So we found that the universe was expanding faster than expected. That when you weigh up the history of the universe and what's in it, it tells us that the universe should be growing, moving, expanding slower than what we just measured. And that could tell us that there's something else in the universe that we don't know, or that one of the things that we don't know, like dark matter or dark energy, actually behave differently. So uh, we thought that it actually could be something we call dark radiation, some sort of new substance, which is a great idea to have. It's always nice to discover new things. Or maybe the things that we've counted on, like dark energy behaving normally, don't. They actually change with time. And so by finding that the universe is expanding faster than expected, we know, now know that there's more things to discover about the universe, that its secrets haven't been fully revealed. Long ago, astronomers thought that the universe would collapse back in on itself in something we call the Big Crunch, kind of a, a reverse Big Bang. Now, we know with dark energy that's not going to happen. But we've always thought that the universe would just keep growing and growing until the universe freezes itself out, that nothing can actually keep happening in the universe. The universe is cold. But if the universe actually grows too fast, and the universe grows faster than expected, uh, the universe could actually rip itself apart in something we call the Big Rip, or the fabric of the universe tears. Now, this could be evidence for this, but it's far to say that this is what's going to happen to the universe, so this is why we need other results and other experiments to confirm it. And it's not going to happen for billions of years, so it's not something that we, you know, you're still going to have to pay your taxes in the next few days. But it could mean our universe has a spectacular end, which is always exciting.